in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own for our good night message on this Tuesday, the 4th of June, 2024, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Roma, Italy, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in line with the gospel passage we are today, entitled, Giving to God What Belongs to Him. Today we read from Mark chapter 12, verse 13 to 17. Jesus in this passage teaches us about the importance of giving to God what belongs to him. Just as it was right for the people to give to Caesar his due by returning the coin with his image on it, so too should we give ourselves fully to God who created us in his own image. We are called to offer our lives to God in prayer, service to humanity, love and sacrifice. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 reminds us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Trusting in God and leaning not on our own understanding is essential in this act of giving ourselves completely to God. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. When we surrender ourselves fully to God, he will guide us and lead us on the path that he has planned for us. Giving back to God what belongs to him requires faith and obedience. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 tells us that without faith it is impossible to please God. And James chapter 2 verse 26 reminds us that faith without works is dead. Our faith should be evident through our actions as we serve others selflessly and love unconditionally. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 to 4 instructs us to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above ourselves, not looking only to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. When we give ourselves fully to God, we tap into his strength and find hope even in the midst of trials. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 assures us that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. As we trust in God's promises and rely on his power, we can overcome any obstacle that comes our way. By giving back to God what belongs to him, we align ourselves with his purposes and experience true fulfillment. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 encourages us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that all these things will be added unto us. When we prioritize saving God and others above our own desires, we discover a deeper sense of purpose and joy that transcends earthly treasures. Let us take heed of Jesus' teaching in Mark chapter 12 and commit ourselves wholeheartedly to give him back what belongs to God, our time, talents, resources, and ultimately our very lives. In doing so, we reflect his image more clearly in this world and spread his message of hope, strength, and inspiration wherever we go. 
may we strive daily to live out Romans chapter 12 verse 2 by being transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect according to God's will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Come.